BSPN and WCSN. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Bolton Stadium. We have another girls' varsity soccer game tonight. It is Bolton Warrensburg versus Corinth 2014. This is actually the second matchup for these two teams. As both of them met earlier in Corinth. And Bolton Warrensburg coming out on top three to two. Close game. And we expect another close game here today at Bolton Stadium. Captain's meeting underway. As we get ready to go, beautiful afternoon here. A little late start, quarter to five. But that's all right. Captain's split up, head back to their benches. And Bolton Warrensburg. Getting ready, they're on a bit of a slump right now. Seven, two, and one is their record. Had a tough game against Lake George last game. They're looking to rebound and get the W. Meanwhile for Corinth, they've been doing pretty well this year as well. And we'll run down the starting lineups for Corinth. Starting with number 22, 12th grader, senior captain, Kerry Mills. Number 14, junior, Whitney Cameron. Number 00, 11th grader, the keeper, Alexis Hall. Number 10, Sophomore Erica McGuire. Number three, 10th grader, Kansas Flint. Number 15, 9th grader, Isabella Craig. Number two, 9th grader, Heather Patel. Number four, 9th grader, Piper Hauser. Number 20, ninth grader, Sage Shanahan. As Corinth comes out the field, Bolton Warrensburg already out. Number 18, eighth grader, Alexis Baker. Number 13, eighth grader, Lee Dishon. And rounding out starting lineups for Corinth is number 16, seventh grader, Alexis Craig. And Bolton Warrensburg ready to go. Corinth will kick off here in this first half. And we're ready to go. And we're underway. Starting lineups for you, Bolton Warrensburg, BW Girls Varsity Soccer Team. Number 10, senior and captain, Maddie Goodspeed. Number four, junior. <laughs> Try that again. Number four, Junior Haley Goodspeed. Number six, Junior, sorry, Senior, as we have a foul on Corinth. Number six, Senior Chloe Rumble. Number 23, Senior and Captain Zaley Baker. Number seven, as we see a kick and a save, not quite, ball still loose, Maddie shoots, rebounds it, and a nice catch. And it's a goal! 
Okay, so quick goal for Bolton Warnsburg. Mistake for Corinth's keeper fell in the goal box. Let's check out the replay. So O'Donnell with the boot goes over the wall. Maddie right there. Brings it back in. Keeper catches it, but she's in the box, and that counts for a goal. So Maddie Goodspeed will get credit with the goal, I believe. And a push for Green this time. So BW out front one nothing. Just trying to get everything straight here. We'll get through the starting lineups, the rest of the starting lineups for Bull Warrensburg. Credit to Caitlin O'Donnell. She is number seven, starting at D back. And she's a junior. Number three, senior Haley LeBrac playing D back. Number 11, junior Mary Kelly and captain. Number five, junior, Ava Milling, I'm sorry, Ava Florentino. Number nine, senior, Ava Millington. Number 18, a sophomore, Hannah Dakin. And the keeper for your Bolton Warrensburg girls varsity soccer team. BW is number 00, zero senior and captain. There she is right now, Emma Anan. She's wearing a number 99 tonight. What a save and a big boot right there. Now, Maley with the ball. Giving it over to good speed. That is Haley good speed. Haley trying to bring it back. And here's Ava Millington bringing it back up the field to Maddie. Good speed. Green out of bounds. Green ball. So for Maddie good speed, that was her 13th goal of the season. And she is the leading scorer for Bolton Warrensburg. Millington with the ball, controls it, trying to bring it back up. Getting good pressure. And here comes Corinth. We mentioned earlier, these two teams matched up earlier in the year at Corinth. Oh, look at this ball going in the box. And again, Emma picks it up. Corinth not happy, probably not happy about that first goal. It was a mistake right there from Alexis Hall, their keeper there. She accidentally stepped in the box after she grabbed the ball. Referee saw that, and that is a goal. White throw in now. Let's see if Corinth can come back quickly. Trying to get there a little bit. Maddie trying to cut her off, but now Caitlin Brings it out and back out of bounds. Sage inbound it for Corinth. Corinth in their white away uniforms. Of course, Bolton Warrensburg in their home green uniforms. Nice ball from Maley going up to good speed. Haley trying to track it down. She crosses it right in front of her sister. No good there. Ball still inbounds though. Haley chasing it down to the cone and 
she's still there and just off of white gonna be out of bounds goal kick well it was out of bounds goal kick now for Corinth big kick And Brett keeping it in, nice job. Here she comes, bring it up, merely trying to join the fight. In, still in, bring it back. Now towards the middle. Here comes Merrily, junior captain. Couple of headers there. From Carey. And throwing, here comes some subs now for White. Looks like Caitlin Crossman coming in for Corinth now, senior and captain on this team as well. Carey trying to get that, but out of bounds. Last touch for White though. Be a green throw in. It's one nothing here early at Bolton Stadium. Quick goal for Bolton Warrensburg, and they're about to score another one. Not quite. Haley Goodspeed trying to shoot it. Gets good defense right there and a shot from Zaley Baker down. Just over the bar. Zaley, a senior and captain, played, I believe this is a third year for uh, the, on the varsity team. Doing really well. Strong player. Tough player too. I wouldn't want to mess with her, that's for sure. Very aggressive, and that's good. That's what you want. Throwing that out is White. Now here comes another sub for Bolt Warnsburg, number 19, senior Maria Fruta in the game now. Bunch of seniors on this Bolt Warnsburg team. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I counted nine seniors on this team this year. That's quite a bit. Good effort from Chloe. She's also a senior. Well, Corinth, you may have noticed during that starting lineup that I was reading out, a lot of young players. As we see a foul on Corinth, here comes another free kick for BW. Maddie trapped the middle, first touch for Green. Maddie's gonna do it again, now she's going up, and it's going out. Maddie Goodspeed, as we mentioned, senior and captain. One of the experienced players as well. Big hit. Millington coming into the fight. Block and off of White. Well, be a White throw in. Ten minutes. Just about ten minutes down. As we mentioned, Bo Warnsburg with the quick goal early. one nothing. And a good start for Bolt Warrensburg. As I was mentioning, just a bit ago about the seniors on Bolt Warrensburg. Quite a bit of them compared to Corinth's two. A few uh, juniors, a couple of sophomores. There's a bunch of ninth graders and eighth graders. There's also a seventh grader out there. So a very young team for Corinth. There'll be a team to watch probably in a few years to come, no doubt. That one goes off. 
of Sage. And now we got a throw in. Millington with the throw. Melly bringing it up. Headed by Carey. But right back was a rumble and a save. Save for Hall, and she's going to boot it the other way now. Well, we're just halfway of the regular season. Plenty of soccer still yet to come. Full schedule on top. Next week, for the girls, they'll be traveling to Lake Luzerne. Meanwhile, Maddie coming into the 18, shoots again, a nice save by Hall. Maddie with a big shot on goal. Lexus with the big save. Senior game will be coming up as well in a few weeks' time. I think that's going to be on a Monday for the girls. Columbus Day, actually. Um, so, yeah. Starting to wind down soccer season. Next thing you know, we'll be in... Oh, hits the flag. Still in bounds. Play continues. So now it's off of... Uh, O'Donnell and now subs for both sides now. Here comes Danica Staple, number 15. Let's see, I see number 15, Isabella Craig back in. Alexis Baker back in the game also for Corinth. BW pressuring in the 18. That's going to be out and a throw in for Corinth. Corinth looking. Maria with the ball. Trying to bring it over to Kelly. Now backtracking and Hannah brings it back to circle. To middle actually. Nice little header. And Danica with the ball. Here she comes. Oh, gets shut down right there. Playing bunched up is Corinth. Right in the middle, though. Looks like Bolt Warnsberg. Might consider going outside. And possibly getting the ball in the box again. Good ball, but not too far enough as O'Donnell sends it out. Go. And now a chat for a chance for Corinth. Now they're in the box. Defense had to retreat rather quickly and they were able to get it kelly over to maddie maddie crossing midfield now and she's met by one tried to pass it herself but that's going to go out corinth looking for a trip but not happening maddie again with the ball going to the middle Maley passing it to the outside maddie's going to be the crossing it over and a save from lexus First touch from Baker, nice job there. And here comes Zaley. Nice pass to Maddie. Maddie takes a shot. Again, Lexus one knee and picks it up. <clears throat> big touch, or big kick, excuse me. Bounce a few times for Caitlin brings it over. And 
now, Corinth looking for a way to get up field. Caitlin bringing it up now to Isabella. Isabella in the box. She goes down and the ball rolls out of the goal line. No call. But was it a corner kick? It looks like it is. More subs for Corneth now. Sage back in the game, and here comes a corner kick for Corinth now. Corner kick for Corinth. That's funny. Oh, not the best kick though. Oh, who touched it last? Off of White. Now it's a goal kick for Bo Warnsburg. Corinth corner kick. Corner kick for Corinth. <laughs> Caitlin now got the sun in her eyes. And watch out for Emma too. They chose to start on the left side of the field. Oh, nice steal from Lex. Something you don't see every day. Especially when Maddie has the ball. Now Ava brings it up. And Danica brings it even further up. And Alexis, she's got the ball. Had to make a decision. Trying to get past the line or not. Meanwhile, this ball's a little short. Kelly trying to bring it around. A couple players go down. Off of white. It's going to be a green throw in. No, it's going to be a white throw in. Actually, it's going to be a foul. Free kick for White. I think that's the, what happened. Yes, that's what happened. <laughs> Here comes Baker bringing it over to Maddie. Maddie with pressure now. Bring it back to Kelly. Back to Maddie. Kelly. Zaley. 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 Haley. Haley again. Haley right on the 18. Haley to Zaley. Oh, not yet. Not anymore. Corinth finally breaks that up. Millington, though, brings it over. First touch for White. Talk to her, talk to her. And now here comes Haley Goodspeed. Oh, she gets hit hard there. Again, hits hard. Ball now coming into the circle. Now crossing mid. Good pass. Now here comes Isabella. Almost a communication issue there. Good job for Caitlin O'Donnell. And now Maddie Goodspeed with control. And taken away. Lizer, nice job there. As we are about halfway here in the first half. Once again, Bolton Warrensburg out front, one nothing. A quick goal. Credit to Good Speed, Maddie Good Speed, off of her own goal there. And a white throwing coming in right now. Lexi with the ball, looking up, but intercepted by Maley. Maley tried to bring it up, going back. And now, the ball's just going wherever. Oh, big collision there. And Maley will get the foul. The kick coming for Corinth now. Ellie with the first touch. Now here comes Haley. Maley looking to help. Good job, Ava. Ava's playing well tonight. 
And Danica bringing it back towards center. Fortunately, a bunch of white. Again, they look like they're bunching towards the middle. We need to find the outside for Warrensburg. Alexis Craig right there. Alexis, number 16 for Corinth. Bringing it up now the sideline. Ava Millington gets called for a hold. Now a free kick opportunity just outside the 18. And now everyone lining up. Here it comes. Short kick. Not quite in the box. Craig gonna bring it back now, far side. Looking for help. Kelly trying to bring it around. And Zay right there. And that's going out. And throwing for White. Sage. Bring it up. But Zaley bring it out. Oh, balance. Here comes the throw in. And I got a throw in coming up for Corinth. Oh, someone goes down. Ball once again, they're rolling out. And another throw in for White. Uh-oh, bringing it upfield. And Emma right there, she dives on it. Stay aggressive, White. And makes another save. Emma will be most likely relinquishing her goalie spot. The second half, we'll see Ella Hens come on in. Eighth grader for Bolton Warrensburg. And now Maley's looking to come near side, unfortunately. Not too much power with that kick. Throw in for White. Millington can't quite keep it in either. And here comes White again, throwing it. No one there. Caitlin O'Donnell bringing it back to Maley, but Haley's right there. Excuse me, Maddie. Maddie brings it up to Maley. Maley back to Maddie. And here comes Mail uh, Haley. Excuse me, Maddie. Nice ball movement. Thought she was gonna bring it up to the middle. Now Kelly with the shot in front of the net. And it's rolling in and kicked in by Haley. Good speed. So a goal for Bolton Warrensburg, the second goal of this game, and give the credit to Haley Goodspeed. So there we see Maley crossing it. Maddie might have touched it, but Keeper tried to come out and grab it. Couldn't quite get past Haley. And now Haley with another goal. Second goal of the game. The sisters have the two goals so far this game. Maddie with the first one and Haley with the second one now. And here they come again. They're looking to score more. Haley shoots, gets blocked. Sophie Florentino in there, didn't see her sub in. Number 13. And Bolt Warnsburg putting the pressure on. Once again. Sage trying to bring it back up for Corinth. That's going out. Nope, not yet, still in. And now it's out, off of green, white ball. 
Oh, for Haley, good speed. That is now her fifth goal of the year. Breaking the tie between Ella, Ali, excuse me, as we see Maddie going down. A little bit shaken, but play continues again right in front of the six. Ball still in balance. And we have stoppage of clock. As Maddie slow to get up. She's up. She's going to have to come on out now. Okay, Maddie's gonna come on out. We're gonna have a drop ball now. Well, it looks like Maddie's gonna stay in. I'm not sure, but they stopped the clock. Usually the players should be coming out, but not the case here. Here comes Ava Florentino. Mailey going up. Back to Maddie. Going in and throwing in now. Maddie right on the line. Kelly off of White. Now kind of stalemating. And now finally Corinth breaks it out. Ava going over to Ava. Two Avas. Nice ball. And here comes Anon with the pickup. Names, uh, you know, I was going to say a lot of H's, a lot of A's, a lot of M's. A little confusing, but I think I got it this time. <laughs> Ava, Ava, two Avas. There's an Avril. There's two Goodspeed sisters. There's two uh, Florentino sisters also. As O'Donnell kicks that out. Here comes another sub for Corinth. Playing D back now. Looks like Bailey Hall, number six, in the game for the first time. There's a Zaley. Zaley, it sounds like Haley. And Maley. <laughs> Meanwhile, Corinth pressuring hard near the 18. And a big boot out by Millington. Plenty of time for Maddie. Now Maddie trying to find her sister for a block by Witt. And picking it up is Mary Kelly. Kelly looking now to the middle. Again, Corn playing, bunched it up in the middle. They're going out. Millington again bringing it back. Zaley over to Maddie. Maddie to Mary. Sophie also looking up. Maley decides to go back to the middle. We're cleared out by Carey. Nice go. header. That was Isabella Craig with the sweet header, but just out of bounds. Now here comes Ava Florentino. Florentino looking to Maddie good speed. Nice little loop in to keep the ball in. Rinse down. No, rolling out. Throw in. It's 11 minutes now remaining. It's 2 0 Bolton Warrensburg here at Bolton Stadium. Bolton Warrensburg versus Corinth. Game two. As we see a push and a free kick coming for Bolton Warrensburg now. So, me, BW, another free kick, and Kelly. Looking up. 
Header from Ava. Cleared out by Carey. Off of the ball, and that's going out again. Throw in four. Green. And Ava going up to the fence, up on the hill, back down to the fence. A big throw in. Into the box, right in front of the net. And again, Carey saves him, throws it out. Or I should say, kicks it out. Ava, though, bringing it right back in the hole. MBW, uh, Corinth taking it up, but no, Mary steals it away. Mary going back to Ava. And Mary steps in front. Maddie with a big shot, looking for a header. No one there. There's Sophie. And that's going out. Sophie trying to get the goal, too. Sophie looking for a goal this year. I don't think she's had one, according to my notes. Thank you, Meg. Oh, a steal from Maddie. And back in the box. Carey takes it out again. And a white throw in. Sun is starting to set, but still plenty of sunlight on this field. Of course, at least half the field still lit. They're in the shade right now. But back in the circle where the sun shines. And a handball on Ava. But good luck ran out right there. And Caitlin kicking it up. Taken by Alexis. Alexis bringing it over. Stepping in front right there is uh, number 20, Sage. And she gets the foul. Maley going down and a free kick for Bolton Warrensburg now with about eight minutes remaining on the clock. <clears throat> Where's Maddie gonna go? Trying to get around one, takes a fire. And Hall with the pickup. Go right through it. Make a run for it. Well, Bolton Warrensburg playing very well this game as we see some subs coming in. For Bolton Warrensburg, it's like Chloe back in the game. As well as Danica also returning to the game. Get in there, Lex! Ooh, close there. Humboldt Warrensburg lost to Lake George. Disappointing there. 3 0. But still, the two top teams in the Adirondack League Bolt Warrensburg and Lake George. Lake George sitting at number one now, and Bolt Warrensburg right behind him in number two spot. Fort Ann's right there. And now an opportunity again for BW. Not quite there. Danica still there. Looking to bring it back. Crossing it around to Gazali. Who's there? Baker now with the ball. Baker looking in the box. Shot and blocked. O'Donnell bringing it back to Danica. Now Rumble with the ball. And that's going to take it away. Green ball. Five minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in this first half. 
but Warnsburg pressuring, looking for another goal. Here comes Haley, almost. Got stuffed right there, a lot of, a lot of white. Closing that hole up in a hurry. Meanwhile, I was gonna say, Isabella looking to go up, unsuccessfully. Millington bringing it back around. Five minutes to go. And you saw right there, hold. That was an obvious call. Free kick for White now. Come on, dig deep, White. Corinth, the Riverhawks. New nickname for them. Paul Warnsburg. Oh, they're just BW. We don't have a nickname. Meanwhile, Corinth in the box. Nice move. Shot out of bounds. Another sub for Corinth now. As we close out this first half. Crossman back in the game. Number eight. And can you believe it for Bolton Warrensburg? This is their 10th year anniversary as a combined program. Hard to believe, already 10 years, Bolton Warrensburg combined as a soccer program. Class C has done very well for themselves. Made it to States the first year as we see another push. This time from Corinth, and here comes a big free kick for Bolton Warrensburg. Officials are looking to bring her back. And now we're going to get a kick from Maddie Goodspeed. Short kick. Really trying to bring it around. No good. Well, Warrensburg mentioned they went to States about 10 years ago. That was a great team back then. 2014 team got honored this year. It's the new Alumni Association Club there. Bolton Alumni Association. Another trip for Maddie and a free kick coming for White. Two minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Of course, Bolton Warrensburg this year are the defending Adirondack League champions. They won it last year. They also won it the year before. They're also looking for three peat this year. Can they do it? We'll find out as we enter the second half of the year, closing it out before you know it. Already in October. Can you believe that? Crazy. Fruta coming back in for BW. As we see a corner now for Bolton Warrensburg. Well, Donna with the boot. I think Danica headed it. Somebody trying to get it in. Haley's there. And off of green. No, off of white. So another corner kick coming up, this time far side, with about a minute 15 on the clock. Now Maddie Goodspeed is going to take the kick, far side. And fortunately, that's going out. Never made it to the net. One minute. Now a minute on the clock here in the first half. Let's see what Corns can do quickly. Breck trying to keep it in bounds. Unfortunately, they're going out. About 30 seconds on the clock. Hannah bring it up and over. 
Maria there, senior. And Hannah bringing it around. Jerry bringing it over. Now we're just kind of stalling. Need the team able to push near the box. Big push there, and Maria gives it right back. Foul on Maddie, excuse me. But time's gonna run out here in the first half. It's Bolton Warrensburg out front. Two to nothing. Stay tuned, second half coming on up here on BSPN. All right, we are here at halftime. Bolt Warrensburg out front, two nothing. Let's show you some replays and how we got to that point. First up, with literally a minute in the game, the first goal came off of a free kick. Caitlin O'Donnell bring it up. And Maddie right there, keeper keeping it out. Save, but we thought she all saved it for a minute. Unfortunately, Alexis went over the line. Officials saw that and that counted as a goal for Bolton Warrensburg. So that's one nothing right there. And here comes the second goal. This one. Cross right there, but now Maley bringing it over, crossing it. And Hall tried to come out and grab it, but Haley Goodspeed able to capitalize and find the net. Bringing it up to 2 nothing, And that's where we are here at the half. Well, I mentioned early. Earlier, we have Emma out there, the first half. Well, warming up right now is Ella Hens. She's going to take over uh, goalie duties. Ella, freshman, youngest player today. We've had a couple of other players that were younger. Of course, Hubert and Bennett, but they're not here tonight. They had a couple of games already this week, so we're going to give them a rest.
And let's see what happens here in the second half. Paul Warrensburg looking to get back to their winning ways as they having trouble the last few games. Lake George and Galway. I want to see what Whitehall can do too, if they can adjust and uh, make some plays. They only had a few shots on goals the uh, first half. Emma, Emma Anon playing well, keeping it in. And the saves so far, a shutout for Bone Warnsburg. Isabella with a couple of shots on goals for Corinth, as well as Sage. And while I have a minute, I want to give a big thank you and a shout out to Amanda Rusha. Amanda Rusha Photography. She took a lot of the profile pics that you saw at the intro, the beginning of this video. It is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Go check her out on Facebook for all your photography needs. As well as Bill Smith. BS artist photo and videos he's on Facebook as well he took a lot of the action shots that you saw in that intro video it is very much appreciated thank you guys for helping us out this year all right still half time about three minutes to go and we'll get underway here in the second half should be a good one. Stay tuned here on BSPN.
Okay, second half, just about ready to go. Bolt Warnsberg will take the kickoff. Maddie Kelly on the line, as well as Maddie. And here we go, as Mr. Official said so. Maddie already with the kick, stolen away. Isabella looking to bring it up the line instead of throwing for Bolton Warrensburg now out of bounds. <clears throat> and here comes Maddie now on the outside. Bringing the cross right in front of Haley and the defense closes up in a hurry. She couldn't get a shot off. Wide open, actually in the six. That one clearing out. And no goal for Bull Warrensburg. Almost a repeat of the first half where they scored within a minute. Not the case this half. Nice ball from Haley over to Maddie. Maddie gets shut down again, but recovers and gets the ball. Big push, and she'll get called for the foul. Maddie Goodspeed, that is. Free kick for Corinth, right on the 18 line. That's it, foul. Nice interception from Isabella. Now Haley, uh, Zaley looking up to Ava. Ava over to Haley. A little confusion there. Sage steals it back up. And she's coming up the field now. Clearing it over midfield. Caitlin just sends it out. Free kick, uh, throwing for uh, Corinth, excuse me. It's like Corinth. Stepping up a notch here already early in the second half. Playing hard. Maley pops it up. Big hit from Maddie. Looking for a hand. Aver down now. Play continues. And O'Donnell will clear it out. We got a stoppage. An injury timeout for Ava Florentino now. She's up, she's okay. And now we're gonna go back to the action. Those hits sometimes will hurt, sting a little bit. Gotta move it around, rub it around and get it out and uh, fight through it and continue to play through it. As we see a big bump right there from the number 10s. Erica there, fighting hard with Maddie. Maddie coming through, no good. Whitney stealing it over. And she brings it up field. Fortunately going out of bounds to be a throw in for Green. Sun is pretty much not a factor. It's behind over the mountains now. You ever been to Bolton Warrensburg? Beautiful field up and over the hill. Sun sets in through the trees. And it has cooled down significantly here. Matter of fact, I had to put on my hoodie and another layer of sh uh, shirts. So yeah, it's uh, that time of year. I think I'm still used to heat. We had a lot of hot weather beginnings part of the year, and even just a few weeks ago, 
where it's pretty warm. Temperatures well into the 80s. But uh, yeah, October has arrived for sure. Leaves have changed and uh, as temperatures are cooling down. Next week expected to be even cooler. Some people will like that, but not me. I am a warm weather kind of person. Don't care if it's 100 degrees out. I love it. Marker green, marker green. But yeah, it's uh, gonna be a chilly next few weeks, it looks like. Nice ball from Ava. Look out there. Good pickup from Hall. Lexus saves it. Almost got squished there and about to be the meat between the sandwiches, the bread there. Here comes the Rumble now looking for help. And she's getting through. Bowie bringing it up. Gets a round of applause from her bench. Haley bringing it over to Maley. And fortunately, not far enough. A wicked little spin. Ball stays near the area. And here comes Haley. Haley bringing it back to center. Zaley looking to steal it away, but again, defense. Stepping up. Nice pick up from Hannah. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. And Ava bringing it back to the box, but Lexus right there. Quick kickoff. As it gets colder too, those big monster hits that uh, you get from the ball sting a little bit, sting a little longer. And it takes a little bit longer for it to uh, go away. That's why I remember playing football, those stings hurt. Even the simple stings, it takes a little bit of time to, for it to rub away. As we see Ava try and score again, no good. Whitney with the block. Maley trying to bring it back. And now ball in a circle, back the other way. Nice little pass back. Maddie looking for Chloe. Chloe looking up, headed it out near the box. And cleared out by Whitney. Chloe getting that ball back. She's got it. Maddie passing it back to Chloe. Off of White. <clears throat> Caitlin decides to send it out. And it'll be a white, uh, green throwing, excuse me. Florentino gonna set set it up and look for the big toss in. First touch shot saved by the defense. Trying to bring it back around a shot and Kelly almost just an up and over the bar. Nice try from Maley. She was right there. Just a little too much though. Another sub for. Uh, Corinth, excuse me. Good job from Haley LeBrett, keeping it in the zone, not letting it get any further up. It's Mary Kelly's got it. She's looking to score. Good little touch, side touch to uh, Haley. And now we got a whistle push for White, and that's gonna give Bolt Warrensburg a free kick about the 25 yard line. O'Donnell, ooh, looks good. Off the crossbar one more time. That was Maley, excuse me, Maley Kelly. Second crossbar hit in less than a minute. Oh. She's all depressed now. That's all right, she'll get one. 
subs in for BW. Danica now in the game. Bailey's got two goals this year. She's looking to add a third one. Come close a few times, but about another foot or two lower. That balls would have went in, but that's all right. Bo Warrensburg still out front, 2-0, as we are just 10 minutes into this second half now. Kelly goes down. Ball comes right back to her. She gets right back up. Sally bringing it over, but intercepted by White clears it out. Green ball now. Ava Millington to throw it in. And again, close to the, the 18, but kicked out by one of the defensive players. Give credit to Whitney. And that one's going out for a goal kick now. About six o'clock here at Bolton Warrensburg. A little bit of a late start. But games move along quite quickly here. Second half, Bolt Warrensburg still out front, two, nothing. Slip right there, and Bolt Warrensburg back on the charge, looking for the big cross. Uh, big cross indeed, too much power, but look at Chloe saving it. Whitney there, off of white, green ball. And Lebrecht to inbound to Haley Goodspeed. Maley to Zaley. Zaley going far side now, looking for Danica. Danica saves it, but White right there, Lexus. And here comes Corinth. Caitlin, and cleared out by the defense of Bolton Warrensburg. Bailey now back in control, giving it over to Maddie Goodspeed, who's got time. Her sister's there in the middle, big cross, and unfortunately out of bounds. Maddie, senior captain. One of the top players on this Bolton Warrensburg team. Done a tremendous job over the years. Helping Bolt Warrensburg to two Adirondack League titles. And they're looking for a third this year. First touch from Kelly over to Haley in the box. Piper there, keeping it merely honest. And now they're going at it in the corner. Finally able to get out. Looking for Chloe, but cleared out. Zaley with the body check. Good move around. Danica bringing it back and stolen away. Get up there! From Bella, Isabella. And now here comes O'Donnell retreating back hard and she just taps it out to the sideline. Throw in for White. Now everybody moving downfield. White's looking for a, a shot. No one home. Plenty of green near the 18. Kind of almost lost it. And took three to get it back out. That was O'Donnell. And Sage and Chloe going at it. Kelly keeping it in. Chloe bringing it up to good speed. Great pass. Maddie getting around one. Here she goes. She's got space. Defense comes back real quick. Maddie shoots right on the 18 and a pickup from Alexis Hall. Throwing it out wide open. 
Nice pass, keeping it in. And gonna roll out. Throwing for uh, green. Subs. Chloe out. Who came in? Maria came in. There she is right there. Senior. Scored earlier. Look out. <laughs> she got in the way. No handball. Now switching it up. This corner's going far side. Bringing it back in the middle. Right in front of Zaley. Which rolls out of bounds. Carry with control. Now she swipes it up. But Green with the ball. For Warnsburg looking for a play. Shot. And again, save from Hall. Lexus with another save. That was, uh, excuse me, Maddie who could speak with the shot. Now Lexi trying to bring it up, but Haley LeBrack keeping her on us, saying, nope, I'm going to take that ball back and bring it back up for my team. As she inbounds it over to Maley. Le, um, excuse me, Haley. Maddie could speak, excuse me, with room. Gets around a few. Now she's in the box. Here comes a collision. No play. Shot. Save. Rebound. It's another save. Maddie with two quick shots and two big saves from Lexi Hall. Oof, wow. That could have been a easily two goals right there, but no. Good heads up play from, as we see a trip right there, Melly Kelly goes down. Good play from Lexi Hall, the keeper for Corinth. Now a ball finally up ahead. Sage trying to bring it over. O'Donnell right there. Trying to keep it out. And Ella Hens got it. She grabbed it. And she's got control now. Nice kick. A couple of headers. Still a ball in the air before Danica settles it. Maley trying to beat that, no good. And a throw in for White. I feel like it's winter now, it's really getting cold. Boy, that sun goes down and it chills out really, really quick. Sun, come back and warm things up, please. Well, we'll have to wait till the morning, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, off of green, it's gonna be a goal kick for white. That's why you're wearing guards. Okay, switching it up now is Corinth looking to come near side. And nice little back check there. Uh, Maley Kelly, not afraid to use the body. Oh, Maria there, blocking it from going up. Switching it is Zaley, Danica. Should be green throwing. Keep working, White. Millington able to take the throw. 
Coming up on the halfway mark here in the second half. Maddie going up to her sister. Not quite. Sage moving it up, and that's going to be a white throw in. Piper bring it up to Sage. Couldn't quite keep it inbounds. Throwing for Green. Big ball up the middle, and here comes White, but O'Donnell taps it out. Subs, looks like. Both sides, Florentino, Sophie back in the game. And it's like Corinth making some changes now. Heather now coming up to play forward. Bailey Hall in the game now, subbed in the game, playing D. And here we go. See if the changes work for Corinth. Got to keep the ball in bounds, though. Nice ball now over to Maddie. Good speed. She's got one. Here comes some more. White. Oh, big collision there. That was Kerrigan. Carry. Playing hard all game for Corinth. Handball, quick setup, free kick for Corinth, and he touched it last. It's like Lebrecht. Now here comes a throw in for Corinth. Right, good try from Hannah there. Couldn't keep it in. White throw in. 17.30 on the clock. Shot going up. And Ella Hintons with control. There was indeed Lila, Lila number 13, eighth grader. Now pushing up is Bolton Warrensburg. Mentioned a lot of underclassmen on this Corinth team. Hanging in there pretty well with Bolton Warrensburg. Uh oh, somebody goes down. And a big shot again. Back into the box near the six. Here comes Lex and she's got it. Lex with the diving save. Haley was there, couldn't quite get it in time. They can bring it back over to Kelly, who missed it, got it for taken up by Corinth. Corinth for now looking for help. Good check by Hannah. This is the second game of the year. Uh-oh. Here comes Hens. She kicks it out. She's out of the box. Good call. All the way back to Heather. And again, call on BW. Push. It'll be a free kick for Corinth. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. A lot of, oh, this was the second, this is the second matchup between Corinth and Bolton Warrensburg. The schedule's changed up this year. Usually we have the East and West as we see another foul on BW. 
switching up not just the east and west teams now we're combining this year so that's why we only have one game per team this year and a lot of non-league games nice ball near the box in the box out of the box ship Brett brings it out oh looking for Florentino but ball play continues Just under 15 minutes now remaining in the second half. Bolt Warrensburg still out front, 2-0. No, go no goals here in the second half. All came in the first half. Good speed over to Florentino. Back to Maddie. Good speed. Maddie look into the far corner. And that ball's rolling out of bounds. More subs for this time, Corinth. And plenty of time for Corinth to look at to look upfield. Back and forth, back and forth, but now Maley looking to go in the 18. It's giving it over to Haley, good speed. And Ava trying to bring that up. Gets knocked out of the way by Lex. Lexi bring it up now. To Isabella, nice pass. To Erica, and unfortunately, can't keep it going, out of bounds. Okay, Bolt Warrensburg back on the charge. Oh, no, not yet. Uh-oh, and another foul off of Maddie. Barely goes flying down to the ground. Sets up a free kick. Here comes Ella. She's got it. Ella, quick release. First touch for White. Corinth trying to pressure hard, get some shots in. Unsuccessful though, as the ball is back to midfield with Bolt Warnsburg now in control. A little too much pass, but Maddie not there. This one going out, still a green ball. Here comes another sub, this time for Bolton Warnsburg. Chloe back in the game. And now we'll have a throw in for it. Corinth, the Riverhawks. I'm still used to their old names. Throw in for White, and here comes Mary Kelly now taking that away. Kelly looking, Kelly looking over to the side to Maddie Goodspeed. Good speed now. Trying to bring it up. Makes a shot and another save. Ball's loose. Haley coming hard, but Lex able to grab it one more time. Heads up, coming to us. And out of bounds. Haley will throw it in. Slowing it up. Taking her time, and that's about the time in the game where you really can take your time now with a 2 0 lead. Just about 10 minutes to go. All you gotta do is just dump the ball out. Of course, Corinth don't want that. They want the ball and see if they can make a shot and a goal. 
Chloe tried to back foot it in, but it was just out of bounds. Then, no, oh, it's going to be a free kick. They happen so close to the sidelines that, you know, I think it's out of bounds, but it really is a free kick. Maybe if they move it in a little bit, maybe I can get it right, but that's all right. Nice catch by Mr. Official. White ball. Well, Bolt Warrensburg can hang on. They'll take another league win. It will be five and one in the league. It'll be seven, excuse me, eight, two, and one overall. Go, kid, go. Oh, look out. Ava got slammed down there. This looks like uh, WWE wrestling now. Sally ain't taking that, though. She's bringing that out and back out. Ava got right back up. She was there with the play. Here comes a th Sub for Corinth, Caitlin Crossman back in the game. Number eight, captain. As time is winding down, Corinth pressuring now near the 18, shot blocked. That's using the backside by Caitlin O'Donnell. And now ball coming up, center court. Nelly with plenty of time looking for Maddie. Maddie with the ball running it down towards the sidelines. Still in bounds. Uh, still green ball. Maddie throwing it to the flag. Still green ball. Chloe there. How about the boys team this year? Bolton Warrensburg, the boys varsity team, having an excellent year. Played yesterday against Argyle, taking the win. one nothing there. Surprise score, maybe, but nonetheless, came away with the win. And remaining undefeated in league play as well as overall. First place in the standings. Boys team doing very well. As they got another busy week coming up next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, all home games by the way, they'll be playing Johnsburg Minerva. And then another tough matchup Wednesday against Lake George. And then I believe, uh oh, balls in, shot and just wide. Haley, good speed. Nice setup there, I believe, from her sister. Unsuccessful though. I think that was Chloe actually. We'll give her a setup right there. Danica coming in. As for the girls, next up is Lake Luzerne in Luzerne. Meanwhile, Maddie with that ball getting near the box, trying to keep it near the six. Shoots! Oh, just wide. Just wide again. Maddie good speed, another shot on goal. Quick subs for uh, Corinth once again. Characting with the throw in, or excuse me, goal kick. And again, out of bounds, green ball. Nice setup from Chloe. Zaley shoots and a nice save again from Lexi. Oh, Lexi, uh, excuse me, Zaley looking for the kick. Stepped out a little too much and slipped. And unfortunately took out Leah too. 
free kick. Lias, Lila, excuse me, number 13. As we are approaching the five minute mark here in the half, five minutes to go. And it's getting dark. Foley bringing it back to, Ma oh, Haley there. But here comes Danica, an opportunity, stops it. Defense closed in in a hurry. And Danica bringing it back to Haley, just loses it. Danica, I mean, Hanika, excuse me, brings it over. Looking to Danica, now back up the middle. Danica looking for Haley, cleared away by Lila. And Haley. There again, pressuring hard. Coach Smith looking to keep her, her his team going. Don't want to slow down at this point. It's still time for Corinth to score. Four minutes remaining. Maley and Lila. And Lila with the big push, Maley goes down. Here comes another free kick for Maley Kelly now in Bolton Warrensburg. A little far out, but brings it near the line. And out, about, or out, cleared out, excuse me. And Lila and Maley going back at it. Maley winning that battle over to Maddie. Maddie looking down corner to Chloe. Maddie moving in. Chloe with the big shot. Save. Le Lexi loses it. Haley trying to bring it in and she scores. Haley uh, scores. Haley good speed with the third goal of the game and that's her second goal. A nice cross from Chloe. It looks like she'll get credit with the assist. So, 3 nothing. Here's the replay. Big cross from Chloe. Lexus there off of her. Haley able to bring it around. Haley good speed. Nets another one. 3 to nothing, Bolton Warrensburg. In the late stages of this second half. trying to beat that out but Caitlin O'Donnell turns the hoop over to Haley Lebrecht and Haley fires it up the circle now good move there just approaching two minutes now Bolt Warnsburg hanging on looking for another shutout this year as well This will be their fifth shutout if they can hang on for another minute and 40. Plenty of time now. Defense moving back off of oh, Caitlin O'Donnell. Nice ball up. No rush for Green though. Kelly looking over to Baker. Baker to Maddie Goodspeed. Maddie trying to go back to the middle, but intercepted. Ava playing well this game, stepping up in there. Bring it back to Maddie. <clears throat> now one minute on the clock.
And it looks like Bolt Warrensburg is going to hang on to win another game and improve in the standings. Just behind Lake George. And we see another one rolling out. Everyone's kind of slowing down right now. Maria going to bring it over into the box. Cleared away by the D, and that's out of bounds. About 25 seconds on the clock. Kelly bringing it back to good speed. Azalea, that was Zaley Baker with the shot and a save from Alexis Hall. However, time is about to expire. And there it is, the final horn and buzzer. And that's game. Bolton Warrensburg takes the win. Three to nothing. Final. Well, congratulations to Bolton Warrensburg. Scoring the win, three nothing. We shall run down the goal scorers here real quick. First one came from Maddie. Good speed as here they come across the field. Bolt Warrensburg saluting their fans. So once again, the goal score is Maddie. Good speed. It was actually an own goal. Uh, Alexis Hall grabbed it but stepped in the box. Maddie will get credit for that. The second goal came late in the first half. It was a goal by Haley. Good speed. She was able to bang one in to nothing at the half. And that's where we were at the half. And in the second half, pretty even. A couple of shots on goals for uh, Corinth. Many shots on goals for Bolt Warrensburg until just a few minutes ago where they were able to find a net. And here's the replay. Nice setup. Maddie over to Chloe. Chloe with a big cross went off of Alexis. And uh, Haley Lebrecht, uh, excuse me, Haley Goodspeed. Able to turn it and shoot and find a net. That was 3 nothing, And that's the final. Here at Bolton Stadium. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. We appreciate you all. Once again, the final score. Corinth 0, Bolton Warrensburg 3. Bolton Warrensburg takes the win. Okay, thanks for joining us. We will see you at the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. BSPN and WCSN. Good night.